Hello viewers. I have the immense pleasure to welcome you all to the new episode. At the last episode too we have discussed the topic regarding the check register, its functions, features and its input area and dashboard partly. If anyone missed the opportunity to see the first three parts, please find the link below and try to watch it, or else you may lose the continuity of this series. Today I am going to present you all how to make or create the analog meters and the VBA of second output area of the check register. Now let's check the backwork of HDFC bank second output area. Here we are already discussed or complete the both first and second tables excluding column J in fifth episode. But we are already discussed that the listing of data in column J. Okay, then I will explain once more. Here the data are listing from first check number to last issued check number in each checkbook. Here you can see the first check number is 57 and last issued check number is 75 from the first book. In column J you can see the listed check number from first to last issued. The data listing are programmed by VBA. Let's check the VBA. Now you just press the keys Alt plus F11. Or let's go to developer menu and click the visual basic option from code area. Now open the VBA window. Here just go to the insert menu and select the module. Now you can give the new module. Here I am already created four module for each bank. I just go to the HDFC bank module and copy this code and close the module and paste it here. Here I just change 4 to 5. That mean each bank code want different number. OK. The first code is to clear the present data in the range. Here you can see the sheet number and name. Here just enter the sheet number, sheet 4. Here just enter the sheet name, HDFC1. And enter the range here, column J. The second code for listing check number from first checkbook. Here just enter the sheet number and range of the first check number. That means cell B, 8. And here enter the last issued check number. That means cell E, 8. Here just enter the cell index 8th row and 4th column. That means cell D, 8. Cell D, 8 is the count of issued checks in first checkbook. The selected the code for first checkbook. The third code for listing check number from first checkbook. Here just enter the sheet number and range of the first check number. That means cell B, 9. And here enter the last issued check number. That means cell E, 9. Here just enter the cell index 8th row and 4th column. That means cell D, 9. Then, enter same code for each checkbook how much books you need. At last enter the end sub. Now just go back to the HDFC bank main sheet in Excel. I just enter here the check number 170 from second checkbook. Then just go the VBA and click the run button. Then go back to the HDFC bank subsheet. Then you can see the result. Column J listed the check numbers up to 170. And column O listed missing checks. OK. Now just copy the first some cells from column O and paste link it here. And just drag to other cells. And copy the this last cell equations. And paste it here and change the row 17 to 18. And drag to other cell. Same process repeat in the last column.
Then, let's check how to add VBA code in this button. Let's go to the VBA and copy the Make M5. Now select the button and click right button and select Assign Macro and paste the Make M5 in the macro name. Then click OK. Now the VBA code applied in the button. Now, let's check the button. Let's go to main HDFC bank sheet. I just delete the check number 170 and go back to the dashboard and click the button. Now you can see the result. Total missing check leaf is 10 and listed the missed check numbers here. I just try another one. Here, I just enter the check number 200 from second checkbook. And click the button. Now you can see the result. Total missing check leaf is 53. And listed the missed check numbers here. Use the same format into other bank also. Now the second output area is completed. Our next step is to create the analog meter. Let's check how to make the analog meter. Here I just change the font color to white. I just zoom it. Now you can see the color names and its percentage. OK, then select the color and its percentage. Just zoom out. And go to the insert menu and click the pie chart from chart area and select the chart from donut. Now you can see the chart. Then just remove the tick of chart title and legend from chart elements. Then go to the format menu and choose shape style. Here I select this one. Now the background removed from the chart. Then click right button and select the format chart area. Then click the shape and click the series option and enter 240 degree in angle of first slice. Then select the series and go to the fill and line option. Then select no line option from border and change the color into green from fill option and select the series and select no line option from border and change the color into yellow from fill option. And select the series and select no line option from border and change the color into red from fill option. Then select the series and select no fill from fill option and select no line option from border. Just adjust the size of the chart. Now completed the measuring area. The next step for make the meter hand. Here I just change the font color into white. Just zoom it here. Now you can see the SL% 160% 4% and 79%. Here the 79% is remain constant. This cell have one equation. I just change the font color into black first and double click here. Now you can see the equation. If n1 divided by 40, less than or equals 2%, then 2%, otherwise 4%. Then select the range. Just zoom out. And go to the insert menu. Then click on pie chart and select first one from 2D pie. Now you can see the pie chart. Then go to format menu. And select the this style from shape styles area. Now remove the background. And remove the tick from chart title and legend from chart elements. Just right click and select the format chart area. And click the chart. And go to the series options. And enter 240 degree in angle of first slice. Then just select this eras. And go to the fill and line option. And select no fill from the fill option. And select the no line from the border option. And select the series and same steps follow here. Then just select the series 
and select the no line from the border option and change the color into red and go the 3d format from effects option and select the circle from the top bevel now the meter needle is ready just resize the needle okay then select both chart and go to the format menu and click align from a range area and click align middle and align center then the next is make the needle handle so just go to the insert menu and click shapes from illustration area and select the oval shape and draw it here and click the right button and select format shape and go to the effects option and select the art deco from top bevel 3d format and go the fill and line option and change the border color into white and set the width into 3 points ok then it move into the meter then select the shape and the chart and go to the format menu and click the align from a range area and click to the align center and the align middle now the meter is ready here i just change the value into zero then the needle change to empty area and just change into 150 then the needle auto changed here okay then just give 160 the next step is to set an attractive cover for the meter just go to the insert menu and click the shape from illustration area and select the donut shape and draw it here and resize the shape and move it into the shape and adjust the size and the alignment and click the right button and select the format shape and change the shape color into black and change the line color into third black from top and go to the 3d format area from effects option and select the circle from the top bevel and select the powder from metal and select the flat from lighting now the meter almost completed now just add e and f in both side so just go to the insert menu and click text box from text area and place it here and type the f here and change the color into green and set bold and change the font size into 13 just copy the text box and paste it here and change the f into e and change the color into red and move both one into the shape then select the both text box and go to the format menu and click the align from a range area and click the align middle now the meter is completed now let's check the input of the meter then just go to the hdfc bank subsheet this is the input area of the analog meter i just zoom it here Here this second cell, that means cell B19 for total number of check leaf. Here this cell C19 for the count of check book. Here use the count if formula for count non-zero numbers from range from B8 to B17.
Now, let's check the formula of cell B19. Here used a big formula, if you want to reduce, then add column in first table like column D. Here the formula is, subtract the each first check number, from its last number, and add them to each other. And at last add the cell C19 into this equation. OK. Then let's check the cell B20. Here the cell B20 for count of the issued check leaf. Here used formula is sum of column D. We have already discussed about the column D. OK, then let's check the cell B21. Here the formula is equals if B19 minus B20 times 1.6 divided by 100 is greater than 1.6, then 1.6, otherwise B19 minus B20 times 1.6 divided by 100. OK. Then let's check the cell C21. Here the formula is equals if B19 minus B20 times 1 divided by 100 is greater than 1, then 100 plus, otherwise B19 minus B20 times 1 divided by 100, the input area is completed. Now let's go into dashboard, and enter equals into the cell N1, and go back to the subsheet, and click the cell B21. And go to the insert menu, and click the text box from text area, and draw it here, and enter equals, and go back to the bank subsheet, and select cell C21. And change the font color, set bold, and increase the font color, and move into the shape. And select both three text box, and go to the format menu, and click align middle from align. Now select all text box, shapes, and chart. Then click right button, and select the group from group option. Now everything is set as a group, and select this text and change its color into black. And go to the insert menu, and click the word art from text area, and select this one. Just select and move to right top of the dashboard. Just enter check leaf status. And change the font size into 32 and change font into agency FB, and set bold and underline, change the color into white, and move to correct place. And select cell R10, and enter the bank name, HDFC Bank and change the color into white, and set bold. And merge the into cell R9, and increase the font size. I hope you could understand what I have detailed so far. You have to follow the same steps like we did for every bank. Then finally you will get an attractive dashboard like this. I will attach a download link for your reference in the description. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Please let me know the comments and feedback regarding this video. And please share and like this video if you don't mind. I, Muhammad Adnan personally thank you all for watching this video. Wishing you all the very best. I am signing off until we meet on the new episode with a very new subject. Bye bye.